Praise the Lord, everybody, and welcome to Just Call Me Sarah. We're going to have such an awesome time tonight. I have two beautiful young women of God that's going to be on the set with me. And both of these women of God have gone through some hurt in their lives. Um, they lost their sons. One lost her son through an illness. The other one lost her son through something that happened tragically. But they're here tonight to share their testimonies of what God is doing in their lives now. And hopefully it will encourage you to know that God is our healer and that he will bring us through anything that we go through in life. I do have a scripture that I want to read before I introduce these powerful young women of God. And it's lifted from Isaiah 61 and three. And it reads to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that it may be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. So my topic tonight that I just want to share with you is arise arise from the ashes. And that's what we're hoping that God will do in your life tonight because he said he'll give us beautiful ashes, the oil of joy for mourning and the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. So right now I want to introduce to you all my beautiful guests. I have uh, Sister Sheila Hudges. Hi, Miss Sheila. How are you doing? God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for being with me on Just Call Me Sarah tonight. Mm -hmm. And I am so sorry for your loss. Thank you so much. Amen. Praise mm -hmm. God. And then I have Elder Brenda Mansell. Hi. Hi, Elder Hi. Mansell. God bless you, sweet woman of God. Thank you so much. Thank you for being with me on Just Call Me Sarah. And so before we even go into um, your testimonies of what God mm -hmm. has brought you through, can we just pray for a minute before we just start? Amen. Praise Amen. God. Yes. Amen. So, yes. Father God, in the holy and mighty name of Jesus, mm -hmm. we come before you thanking you, Lord God, for these two women of God. We're thankful how you're holding them up, Lord God. You're strengthening them where they're weak, mm -hmm. and you're building them up where they may be torn down. Lord, we're thankful for the comfort, for the, the, the Holy Spirit that gives them comfort. In Jesus' name, and we pray for everybody that's tuning in tonight that may have lost a loved one, whether it be a son, a daughter, husband, a wife, whoever it may be. We pray that the Holy Spirit, you just comfort their hearts tonight mm -hmm. and let them arise from their ashes. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. Praise God. So. Miss Sheila, I'm going to mm -hmm. start with you. Sure. Yeah, thank you again for being with me on Just Call Me Sarah. Mm -hmm. This is your first time being with me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes. I am happy to have you, and you're looking so beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank to God be all the glory. Amen. So tell us a little about you tonight. Okay, sure. Uh, I'm married to a wonderful Christian man, Stanley Hudgens is mm -hmm. my husband whom I love very dearly. We also still have one son, Latre Hudgens. Okay. And I go to work every day and I read my word. I stay in the word because that's what keeps me going. Yes. And uh, after everything happened, I said, well, I got to do something. I can't just stay in the house because if I stay at home, yeah. I'm looking at his pictures. I'm just not being able to function like I should. Yeah. So I go to work every day. I still work every day and uh, just take the Lord with me and just take it one day at a time, trying to get to that point where it's I can, you know, think about it and not crawl time. So I do have my moments. Yeah. I have my moments, but uh, but yeah, I know uh, trying to witness to people at work or wherever I can give a word of the Lord because there are so many people out there that's hurting. Yes. Been through what I've been through, what what my sister has been through. Yes. And uh, so yeah, basically that's you know what I'm doing right now, just holding on to God's unchanging hands and let Him lead me day by day till I can get to that comfort point. Amen. Yes. And that's what we have to do is hold on mm -hmm. to God. Yes. You know, even I, I, I thank God that I, I've never had 
the experience mm -hmm. of losing a son or mm -hmm. child. Mm -hmm. So I, I, but I can relate in a way because I've lost family members. I've True. lost brothers. True. You know, mm -hmm. I lost my mom. I mm -hmm. lost, you know, I lost people in my family. Exactly. But it's hard to imagine mm -hmm. having to bury your child. Mm -hmm. Talk to us, um, Pastor Brenda, I mean, well, Elder Brenda, I'm going to say Pastor too tonight. <laughs> Amen. Tell us a little about you. So yeah, um, I have a beautiful daughter, um, Jessica. Um, she's 30, she's going to kill me. <laughs> she's 35, 34, 33, somewhere in there. <laughs> one of those. <laughs> one of those ages. Um, she has three lovely children. Yeah. Um, and so I have four grandkids. Yeah. Um, I have three grand grandkids by my daughter and I have one grandson by my deceased son. Yeah. So um, I um, work in, in family and children. That's what I do. I work with family and children every day. Wow. I work in foster care. Um, so um, I, you know, love what I do. Mm -hmm. I absolutely love the work that I do. Um, working with children. I work in ministry, of course, you know, I, yes. um, I'm a minister. Um, I sing. Um, I teach. <laughs> <laughs> I preach. Pray. Yes. <laughs> I do it all, and with the strength of the Lord, yes. you know, um, mm -hmm. that's what keeps me going. Mm -hmm. yes. You know, that's what has kept me going. Yes. Um, you know, the Bible says that the joy of the Lord is our strength. Mm -hmm. Yes. So if I have that joy Thank you. in my heart, mm -hmm. and joy is not what the world gives. That's right. The world, you can find mm -hmm. happiness in the world, but you can only find joy through Jesus Christ. Jesus yes. Christ. So the joy that I have is my strength. Yes. And that's what keeps me going Amen. every yes. day. Mm -hmm. Well, when I heard, when I heard that your son had passed away, and, and your son, mm -hmm. you know, my heart uh, just went out to both of you because, mm -hmm. like I said, I can't imagine being a mother and mm -hmm. having to bury your child because it seemed like it should be the other way around. That's right. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. That's right. So, um, Miss Sheila, tell mm -hmm. us. What happened with your son? Okay, uh, my son, he had cancer uh, back in 2016. Uh, he just started, my, my daughter-in-law took him to the hospital mm -hmm. and they sit in the waiting room forever, but then as soon as they took him back into the uh, room to examine him, mm -hmm. uh, he just started spitting up blood mm -hmm. and then come to find out when they did a, a test on the next day it was a tumor wow. and so yeah that was back in 2016 and so the type that he had it was incurable okay and so every time that tumor would come they he couldn't take radiation he couldn't take uh, chemotherapy they had to cut it out mm. every time and so but the doctor also said if it doesn't come back in Five years, yes. he would be, it would be totally out of his body. It came back in four years. Oh. Last year was four years, so it come back. And so they operated on him in June, mm -hmm. and then they winded up putting a feeding tube in him and yeah. everything. So he just, he went for, from 100 and something pounds down to 96 pounds. Oh my so goodness. So then come November, you know, that's when everything happened. Now, how old was he? He was 46. He had just oh turned 46, God. September the 7th. Mm. He had mm -mm -mm. just turned uh, 46, yes, so. Mm -hmm. So, um, Elder Brenda, what happened with your son? Well, um, I'm gonna be very transparent. Yeah. Um, tonight, um, my son um, had um, been incarcerated, you know, several times. He had been shot several times. Mm -hmm. um, and I testified back in 2018, I believe it was, that my son had been shot three times. Wow. And God brought him back. Mm -hmm. Yes. Each time. Um, the first time he was shot, he was shot in his foot mm -hmm. as he was running, yeah. trying to get away. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I, I thought about the scripture, you know, how beautiful are the feet of them. <laughs> yes. You know, and yes. so the second time he was shot in his hand. Mm -hmm. And the thing that was so amazing about that yeah. is that he was trying to avoid the bullet. He put his hand up and the bullet hit his hand. Wow. Do you know that bullet lodged in his hand, did not go through his hand <laughs> to his head? I said, 
you know, God's hand Ooh. protects us. That's yes. True. You know, his hand yes. protects us. Yes. And mm -hmm. even though he was, you know, not in the church like maybe he should have been, but he was brought up that way. Yes. Mm -hmm. He knew God. And I tell people a lot of times, my son got saved five times. Mm -hmm. <laughs> When he was a little boy, <laughs> yeah. every Sunday when the preacher would open up the doors of the church, he would go up front to get saved again. Mm. And I found a time I said, Jarrell, you don't have to get saved every Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> he got saved five times. So oh. I know that he knew God. Yes. Yes. Um, the last time that, well, not the last time, but the time before the one that actually took him out, he um, got shot in his stomach and wow. it hit major organs in his stomach. Um, he was in ICU for a few days. My pastor um, prayed with him. We all prayed. My mm -hmm. pastor prayed with him. My pastor prayed the prayer of salvation with him again. So mm -hmm. we know that, you know, he had accepted Christ, accepted you know, Christ. as his savior. Mm -hmm. But on um, July 3rd, mm -hmm. 2019 yes. was when I got the phone call. It yes. was about 11 o'clock, maybe 10 30, 11 o'clock that night. One of his friends, and mm -hmm. I use that term very loosely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, called and said that Jarrell's been shot. Mm. Okay. And you know, I I heard him. You know, and my mind went back to the last three times. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, this is another time just like that. Right. You know, is what I was thinking. This is another time just like those last like, three times. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, and as I was rushing, as a matter of fact, I was in the process of moving. So I had been in the house moving boxes, putting boxes in my cars and just busy, busy, busy. When I got the phone call, I dropped everything and mm -hmm. I started heading to where the scene of the incident had happened. And as I was on the way there, I was on the telephone with the young man that called me. Yeah. And he said, my Brenda, my Brenda, they covering him up. Oh my God. And mm. I, I totally lost it. I called my daughter, you know, and I told her what was happening and I just totally lost it. Yeah. I said, no, I said, no, they're not covering him up. They're not covering him up. He said, my Brenda, they covering him up. Mm. They putting the sheet over him. They putting the sheet over him. Mm -hmm. And at that point, you know, my heart crushed. Yeah. You know, my heart crushed, mm. you know, and I don't know, it was so much going on. I know when I got to the scene of uh, the accident, the incident, to see my baby. Mm -hmm. That's your baby. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's your baby. That's your baby. Mm -hmm. Lying on that cold concrete. <laughs> mm. And, you know, when it's your child, yes. mm -hmm. you always want to comfort them. Yes. Right. You know, when That's they're sick, right when they're mm -hmm. hurt, mm -hmm. you know, you want to go to them. And to get there and to see my child mm -hmm. laying on that cold mm -hmm. concrete mm -hmm. Jesus. with a sheet over him, mm -hmm. and I couldn't get to him. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. It changed my world. Mm -hmm. It actually changed my world. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because all I wanted to do was to get to him. Yes. Mm -hmm. And to say, it's okay. It's okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay, baby, it's okay. Jesus. But I couldn't. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's Jesus. Mm -hmm. You know, and like you said, you know, to lose a loved one, mm -hmm. a parent. I lost my mom in 2020. Yeah. You know, just in October. Yeah. It was devastating as well. Yeah. But like you said, the natural order yeah, is natural. for, you know, the mm -hmm. you bury your parents, yeah. but not mm -hmm. your child. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's just not the natural order. Right. Mm -hmm. And, you know, mm -hmm. to, you know, have to do that is very tragic. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think it's a day that goes by. Right. Mm -hmm. That I don't see that image mm -hmm. in my head. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even though I... God has brought me, you know, through, I, I do what I need to do. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, I work, I take care of whatever I need to do, mm -hmm. you know, but that's not a day. 
Not a that goes by, the, I don't sure see that image in my mm -hmm. head. Yeah. And I don't think that there will ever be a day mm -hmm. yeah. that I won't see it, you know, in my head. Um, I didn't choose this. Mm -hmm. Yes. He didn't choose this. Mm -hmm. Yes. But there comes a time that we have to accept yes. what God allows. Yes. That's true. Um, you know, we have to change the things that we can. Mm -hmm. Yes. And understand that there's some things that we can't change. That's right. And mm -hmm. um, I'll never be, mm -hmm. I'll never be happy mm -hmm. that my son is not with me. Mm -hmm. Wow. Never. Mm -hmm. I'll never be happy mm -hmm. that he's not with me, but I have to accept mm -hmm. yes. that he's not with me. Yes. And that's I have right. to go on. Mm -hmm. You know, um, <clears throat> that's what my son would want. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, he would not want me to, um, to sit in the ashes. Mm -hmm. Ooh, he had a love about my mm -hmm. Yes, he Lord. would not want me to sit in the ashes. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, he would want me to go on, that's right. you know, with yes. my life. Yes. And that's what we have to do. That's right. It's not easy. It sure is. It, 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 it is not easy. Um, mm -hmm. We went through, you know, the services. We, you know, you know, buried him and everything like that. <clears throat> he was 29 years old. 29. 29 years old. Young oh man. Oh, my God. He had struggled a lot, mm -hmm. you know. Yes. Like a lot of young men do, he had struggled a lot, but he was kind of getting to that place. And, you know, sometimes I question God. I mean, I'm just going to be very transparent. Mm -hmm. I, I question God mm -hmm. because it, he had got to the point where um, he was almost where he needed and wanted to be. Yes. He had been in the prison system. He had gotten out. You know, he had got a job. Mm -hmm. He had got his um uh, a car that he always wanted. Right. You know, he had just got a car. He had just had his son. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, which he always wanted a child. And now this. Mm -hmm. Now this. You know, so, you know, sometimes, you know, in our humanness, you yes. know, we do question. Yes. We do question God. And I kind of grew up in the era where the older saints said, you don't question God. Mm -hmm. But I don't see anything wrong mm -hmm. with questioning God. Right. <clears throat> because a lot of times that's how you're going to get your answer. True. When you tell us to ask, mm -hmm. yes. and it shall be given. Yes. Right. If yeah. we never question him, how will we get an answer? Right. You know, and sometimes that's what we need. We just need an answer. Yes. Mm -hmm. From him. That's true. So, you know, I, I you know, it's, it's been a, it's a been journey. a journey. And go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> I could keep talking. But yeah. Mm -hmm. But I want to, you know, I, I'm, I'm being blessed mm -hmm. by your testimony and the, courage, the encouragement that you all are giving forth tonight mm -hmm. because somebody yeah. is going through the same thing That's true. that you all went through, either through illness mm -hmm. or through tragedy. So we want to encourage some people tonight. And so mm -hmm. your strength that God has blessed you with helping somebody mm -hmm. else, and I believe that. Mm -hmm. Right now, we're getting ready to go to a song by Elaine Mitchell Jones, and she's going to be singing, Arise, O God. Amen. Hey. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Promises. We are standing on your promise. The truth. 
just shall live by faith. Just shall live by faith. Cause you are, you are good. good. And your mercy. And your mercy Well, that was Minister Elaine Mitchell Jones, Psalmist Minister Elaine Mitchell Jones singing Arise, O God. And so that's what we are talking about tonight is arising from our ashes. Oh, my God. And I pray, I pray, I pray that you're being blessed tonight uh, by these two mighty women of God. And I know they went through a lot, but mm -hmm. God brought them through a lot. Mm -hmm. So, Sister Sheila, um, tell us tonight how good God is and what, how he's blessed you to come. I know you're still going through something. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I, you said a few minutes ago that the wound will never heal. That's true. Yeah, mm -hmm. so share with us about how, still how good God is. God is so good. And if it went for the Lord, I don't know what I'd do. Yeah. Because um, I, at one point in time, I couldn't even look at my son pictures. I got a photo of, picture of him, the family photo yeah. on the wall, and I just walked by, can't look at it, but now God has blessed me to be able to look at his pictures, <laughs> look at, and I remember the good things about yeah. him, you know, and just going up there like her, seeing her son lying out there on the concrete road, yeah. my son was in the bed, and he, he had went down from 100 something pounds to 96 pounds, and just seeing him unconscious his wife landed but his wife I have to give her her praise, praise because yes. he had a good woman yes. she took him all the way to Texas try to get him cured and the doctors told her, said well it's nothing you know that we can do she said well it would hurt my heart if I don't try wow. so yeah praise God and I would go up there every time I would go up there just by every day went up there spend the night hold his hand, read the 23rd Psalms to him. He was ready though, <laughs> he, re he received Christ. He told me one day, mama, he said, mama, make me well. He said, I don't wanna die, I'm too young to die. I said, mm. son, I said, listen, mm. I said, whether the mm. Lord heal you over here over or over there, there God is with Jesus. you. Amen. He is yes. with you, he's taking care of you. So don't worry about it. And I hold his hand, read the uh, 23rd Psalms to him, and I just wanted him to just accept Christ. Don't worry about nothing else. Know yes. that God got you. Know that know God that has, God has yes, you, yes, you know. And so I just praise God that, you know, that's what's getting me through. <laughs> Looking at the good times on the pictures, it's a beautiful smile, <coughs> and that's what gets me through. Amen. That's Praise what gets God. Me through. I try to remember the good times, <laughs> good That's things, right. not not him laying there sick and dying. Yes. I try to put that further from my mind that I can. It's hard though. Yes, it but is. I'm I making it through. I'm making it through by the grace of God. By the grace of God. That's right. And, and my friend, excuse me, but uh -huh. my friend uh, Angela, my supervisor, yeah. she lost her son about four years ago. Mm -hmm. So she told me, said, tell them to remember me in prayer. 
pray yes. for her because it's been four years and she's still going through it. What's her name? Angela Lancaster. Okay, praise mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. So, um, Elder Mansell, we only just got a couple of minutes mm -hmm. left on the show, but how, tell us briefly, how has God blessed you through this? I know your ministry is a rise ministry. Right. Have you started back with your ministry yet? Yes, yes. I started back with the ministry um, in m March of this year. Uh -huh. I started back. Um, it had been two years since we did anything within the ministry. Um, and it just had a lot to do with the things that I was going through. Yeah. You know, but I had to, you know, trust God. And God said, it's time to start back. And it's time to go back. Mm -hmm. um, Isaiah 66 and 9 is a scripture that uh, resonates in my spirit a lot. And it says that God will not cause pain without something being born. And wow, so because God caused one. the pain, mm -hmm. something is being born even in that pain. When a woman goes through childbirth, yes. there's a lot of pain. Pain, but then there's mm -hmm. something that's being born. So I understand that, you know, and that's what keeps me going. You know, it keeps me going. God keeps me going. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, I have good days and I have bad days, yes. you know, mm -hmm. but the joy of the Lord is my strength. And that's he right. is the one that keeps me going and keeps me focused every day into doing what he has called me to do. Mm -hmm. I can't sit back on God. I can't, you know, stay in that place. I have to move forward because there's mm -hmm. a lot of people, as you said earlier, that's gone through what we've gone through, mm -hmm. what you and I both have gone through. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And they need our strength, yes. you know, and that's what God has done. You know, mm -hmm. he's, he's, he's brought me through and he's continuing to do that every day. Mm -hmm. Well, we're getting ready to close out. Just mm -hmm. call me Sarah. But I want to thank you both mm -hmm. for coming. And you, you're so strong and so brave and so courageous mm -hmm. to share. To God be all the glory. So, uh, Elder Mansell, as we close out, will you pray for some mm -hmm. women, some mothers, fathers that's going through the same thing? We're going to close out in prayer tonight. Mm -hmm. Thank you for tuning in to Just Call Me Sarah. I pray that you was blessed, that you was uplifted, that you was encouraged in your walk in Christ Jesus. And remember, God is raising you up from the ashes. Amen. 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 Will you please close yes. us out? And thank mm -hmm. you both for being with me. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Let us pray. Father, we thank you, Lord God, that when our heart is overwhelmed, that we can go to the rock who is yes, higher yes, than we Lord. are, God. We thank you, Lord God, that you are our strength, God. Thank and I pray you, for Jesus. every person tonight, Lord God, who mm -hmm. may be watching this, Lord God, who may have lost a loved one, a son, yes, a Lord. child, a, a, mm -hmm. a daughter, whomever, Lord God. I pray yes, that you will Lord. give them the strength, Lord God, to look unto you, Lord God, Jesus. oh, Father God, because Jesus. you are our help, Lord God. You yes, are our you present are help in mm -hmm. the time of trouble, God. Yes, and we give you all the praise. All we the give praise. you all the glory in Jesus' mighty name. We pray. Amen. 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 Amen.